So we now have to head over to the ground floor. And nothing good ever happens on the ground floor. Of any game whatsoever. So we've got to locate Claire. Something tells me something terribly wrong is going to happen. But guys, welcome back to Atomic Heart. You know, I still don't know how I feel about helping out these robots. Especially when they're the ones responsible for all of the murder that's been going on. Well, technically, we humans are responsible as well, but... Oh, well. Anyways. Wow, check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Attention, BDNH staff. I think we're locked out now. Oh god. Alright, let's take the stairs. Let's see what we got. This looks like it could have been a really cool looking mall! Excuse me! How dare you! This is how we're gonna start today's episodic adventure. And I will slick. Okay, well that was pretty cool. And I will smack you across the head. You silly robot. You're no friend of mine. I'm here to kill you. I should say destroy you because they can't really die. They could just be destroyed. Like so. Now we have some sort of rotten... Oh, it's these things again. Ugh. Disgusting. He doesn't know. He doesn't even know who's hitting him. He's lost. Look at him. Oh, God. He's pissed now. I'm just, gonna, I'm just not going to stop. I'm not stopping today. Today, I unleash my inner monster. Right, we can open this up. So we've got this here. I need three canisters again. This is just going to be fantastic. What do we have inside here? Ah! What the fuck? Hey, dude. what What's going on with you? My goodness gracious. I didn't save up. Thank you. Ooh. Alright, we got one of them here. Perfect. The circle moon canister. Ooh, a little audio lag. Bro, I'm not even playing. You come at me, I swear I'm gonna destroy your entire being. You come at me, bro. <laughs> well, what? What? Huh, hold time, time out. Hold up. Calm down, dude. Don't worry, Dina. I'm actually glad they've got the Terrascovas giving tours now instead of us. We still get paid, and we get to take a nice vacation. Sounds good to me. My hubby and I are headed to Yalta to visit the family. I'm tired, you know? There are more and more tourists coming every day, even from Moscow. Girls ask question after question. And the kids? Ugh. They go nuts when they see all the gadgets here. Yesterday, two little boys almost fell into the polymer whale. Can you imagine? A lot of things fall into that whale, actually. Yevgeny, the janitor, says you can buy all kinds of stuff in there. Okay, cool story, but I think we found Claire. She's missing her limbs. No way. Oh, so these are... Are you kidding me? I gotta go back upstairs. See, this is what sometimes annoys me about trying to do things before the game gives you what to do. Because then it's like... You got to repeat all your steps. I'm going to go all the way up top. At least we got rid of all the robots for the majority of the space. So we're going to go actually one more floor upstairs. Some of the doors we were trying to open were closed. Now they're 
most likely just going to open automatically. Alright, so we got to bring back Claire's parts. Poor Claire. She's missing her parts. Scanning the exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Assessing structural integrity. Head location. Chelemate. Shit, it's dark here. I got a bad feeling about this. Mm, that's not. Let's not get crazy, please. Listen, I'm not trying to die. Alright. What are these plants on the wall? And are we going to be able to destroy them? Obviously with fire, right? Not these. Alright, these are good. Yo, what the frick? All right, hold on. All right, I'm just gonna activate these. Oh God, yeah, I just fucked it up. Oh my God! Yeah, that's right. That's fucking right. Okay, this is... Woo! Whoa, dude. Attacking me, you stupid bot! Freeze! I refuse to die to a plant. That's embarrassing, bro. We can do this. Got another plant here. Not that one. That one either. Oh, there we go. Huh. That was easy. Not really. I didn't even know how I did it. I guess just eliminating all the plants. Perhaps. I think it's this way. Yeah. This place is giving me the creeps. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Man, I'm, I've been saying it. I miss when we had a chest here every time. Authorization, Major Nichayev. Let me see something. Okay. Um, I do have sufficient resources for this. I just don't know if I should get that or if I should be upgrading some of these weapons. What are the stats on this beautiful kalash? Man, it's it's man, I cannot say no to that. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god, that thing is beautiful. <laughs> what a beauty. Open this up here. Take this apart. Throw it away. We don't need it anymore. What do we have here? One of the parts? Crispy fucking. Where's the shit ass way out of here? Underground or something? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, it still shoots. Nothing special here, just a chest. Special enough for me. Thank you. Alright, let me just make sure that I can't open this door. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Boys and girls, I think we're in trouble. This doesn't look too hot. We're about to enter the Beluga's Hall. Huh? But I see a lot of blood. A lot of blood indeed. Oh, that's a dead end. Okay, we gotta go through here then. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> okay, I think I just glitched. Right, we'll go ahead and grab that. I no longer know where I'm at. I think, uh, I think I'm lost. I'm gonna stay in this vision, the x-ray vision. Here we go. Oh, Fuck man. me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunate. I do not have this information. Everything got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the Beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. Just a suggestion. Well, it's a It sounds like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova. Where's the power room around here? Okay, hold on. Very tough! Fantastic. So cut off. Just what I always wanted. Wow. This is just fucking crazy. Bro, what is your problem? Okay. Shotgun. Where's my shotgun? You can never go wrong with the shotgun. It doesn't matter the game. It doesn't matter the... Fuck. Alright, it's only one of these. Come here, stupid... You think you're so cool with your little dorky kicks. The Beluga is the world's fastest multi-purpose submersible vehicle. It can reach speeds of up to 78 kilometers per hour and is able to carry out civilian and military missions at depths down to 3,000 meters. We've learned more about the ocean floor over the last few years than we had during the previous century. If you ask me, we're better off exploring the depths of the ocean than outer space. No mystery there, just crabs, uh... If you ask me, we're better off exploring the depths of the ocean than outer space. Fascinating. Why is that? Because you gotta know your home before you can start visiting other people's. Oh, intellectual mind. Oh, that's interesting. What do we have on the other side of that wall? Yes. Did you want something? Were you on the tour? Does it matter? No. Maybe. Yes. Certainly. But it no longer matters. 
I dislike this vague, jelly-like state of mind, and do not wish to prolong this mental agony with pointless communication. The mental agony of pointless communication. <laughs> Charles, how did this comrade know you and I have been talking? Such sparkling wit and biting humor, comrade major. I find myself in the uncomfortable situation not entirely unlike a long wait before a parting or a long journey that nobody is eager to take but needs to, or is forced to. That's a gloomy philosophy you got there. Mm. I've got nothing to add. Okay, well, I'm sorry you're dead. Goodbye. Let me get this, because this thing is pissing me off. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, we haven't done this in a while. Charles, what do the special neuroconnectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuroconnectors have the Greek letter gamma on them and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them, but the Beta connectors were real at first. Uh... I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuroconnectors with discretionary authority were called Beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neural connectors. Enhanced gamma models, shaped like bracelets, were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, there are only seven of those gamma connectors? For Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filomonenko, and Chelome? Indeed. All of which of those names I do not know how to pronounce. All right, get to the second floor. Let's go. Some of the, the tasks in this game, once you're inside one of the quests, main quests, they're very long. What the heck is this? So where's the very top? Oh my god. Oh crap. Hold on. Yo, oh my god. We good? Dude, what the heck? Whoa. Oh, so we're right above. We were just down there. Oh, sweet. Oh, it's officially confirmed we can swim in this game. Hm. I guess that's good. If I could just get in there. Oh, gosh. Alright, let's go. And now for the weather report. Gotta love swimming through the polymer. I still think this was such a great idea. Alright. Up here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and slide sideways. Let's see if we can make this leap of faith here. Oh god. I think Alter here would be proud. This is very dying light-ish. Even the way it plays, it feels very dying light-ish. Alright, perfect. You know, one thing we're missing is a block button. I don't think we have one. I just realized that. We do have the shield, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's the block button. What's up, dude? What are you doing here, huh? Just admiring your human kills? Bastard. What does this do? Ooh, what does the big red button do? Alright, let's go around over here. 
it's funny because I turned off the radio music and it's still there. I don't think so, pal. I got the hang of you already. You're nothing but a piece of junk. Oh, this guy's tough. Oh my god, help. Help. Okay, hold on, hold on. Freeze! No, that's the wrong button. I don't think that's good. Oh, he still freezes! Oh my god, that's amazing. Perfect. Here we go. Ugh. What just happened? Oh. I guess that works. Mm. A large neuromed capsule. Well, that's good. Now we can acquire the bigger ones too. So we can carry less, but get more health per unit. That's always good. Alright, here we go. We're gonna have to do something crazy here. <laughs> I'm liking this parkour. We got some good old hardcore parkour. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna jump again. Got one more leap of faith. Here we go. Ugh. Man, my arms are sore. But I feel like a million bucks. Wait, hold on. Actually, I lied. There's a couple more. Last one for sure now. Hopefully. Nope. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost. Ugh. I think I just farted. That one was hard. My arms are tired. Where do I go from here? Man, I didn't even need to do that. Wow, I feel really stupid. This is where the power comes from. Are you sure? Definitely. How? Because this place has my favorite thing in the whole fucking world. A relay. Really? I thought you were more partial to canisters. Oh, come on. I'm dumb. Endlessly stupid. I died because of my stupidity. If somebody buries me, put these words on my tombstone. What happened? I tried to run, but I didn't know how to rotate these things on the floor, so I failed. I could have opened the passage. It's a security relay. Looks simple enough. But I panicked and did something stupid. And then wham! Blood everywhere. There was pain and... That was it. Yeah, you gotta adjust them by color. Well, shit happens. It's not your fault. I'll tell the tour guide you're, uh, here, still. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, wow. So we've got this. We need to get blue on all corners. Maybe this one. No, this one needs to get blue as well. There we go. Simple enough. Return to the hall. Wait, what is this door for then? Huh. The hell is it? Oh, that's a... Is that a motorcycle? Can we drive this thing? Oh, we're out. We're outside right now. All right, hold on. We're not going to go anywhere here. Uh, just because. Let's just follow what this game is telling me to do. And that's a nice little leap of faith. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. I probably sounded really, really weird. I was just. I was honestly just scared, okay? Thought we were going to die. I don't know what would have happened up there, but I feel like that was outside of our curriculum. Wait, what? What are these guys doing here? Ah! Time out. I gotta freaking save. Just in case. Freeze! You thought, sucker! 
Falcon punch. That's what he said. But he's not Captain Falcon, so that was unsuccessful. I'm gonna fucking die here. I'm gonna look at him with his kick. <laughs> he really thinks he's gonna do something with that stupid. You know what? That's it. Enough is enough, pal. Stop hitting me! Why don't you just blow up already? Ugh! Right, I call hacks right now. Finally. Let's see if this thing helps. Uh oh. That looks like it was a terrible idea. Oh yeah. Yeah? You sure about that? Alright, now the question is, how do I get up there? Aha! <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Was that supposed to happen? I don't think so, but you know what? I'm gonna go to the storage and get some more health. And also save, because I don't want to go through that again. Alright? I just don't. I'm gonna save. Access granted. Yes. Let, let me check out my weapons and my storage, please. And, uh, actually, please I have enough for some abilities. Procedure. Have I not missed it? 236. Holy moly. All right, character. What is this? Yes. And then we've got one. That was expensive. 165. That sucks. Deploying polymeric shield at full capacity and retracing it causes an explosion that are... Okay. So I guess... Melee attacks recharge your energy meter. Additional ionizations allow polymeric shield to reflect laser attacks back at enemies. I'm gonna go for this. Right. What do we have here? Tereshkova, do you copy? Yes, dear comrade. The communication is restored. So, where's that head of yours? My head is where it's supposed to be, but Claire's head should be somewhere on your floor. Like I said earlier, something is crushing it with terrible force, like a migraine, like an excavator, like an entire mountain. I get it. I really do. All your whining is giving me a migraine, too. I'll go look for it. Yeah, we're here again. Oh no, we haven't been here. What the hell is this? <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This will be a cakewalk. Now, hold on, where is this supposed to go? Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? There we go. Get in there! Oh, for fuck! You know, Charles, I guess. <laughs> yeah! We got you! Nice! Easy. When warmth and beauty mingle, at the past turn, a carcass lay a sprawl. Upon a bed of shingle, lay gray like some old poor, far gone in passion. <laughs> Whoa. The burning, deadly, poison sweating mass opened its paunch in careless, cynic fashion, ballooned with evil gas. On this putrescence, the sun blazed in gold, cooking it to a turn with eager care. So to repay to nature hundredfold what she had mingled there. Yes, found the head. 
We gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely not much. Gotcha. All right, so we're gonna have to go around here. Maybe through the clouds, matter of fact. <laughs> this is cool. That's that is not cool. Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his Alpha Connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique, and its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his Alpha Connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching it, Argentum? Entrusting humans with the Connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguards. You mean the ballerina twins? The way they move, they're so oh, graceful and elegant. Remind me of something. Is that so? What exactly, conversation? I don't know. Something... something good. Oh my god! Okay, y'all need to calm the freaking crap down, seriously. And there's these stupid little drones too that repair them. Swap out, swap out. <laughs> My goodness. Sheesh. Uh, bro, I'm freaking looting here, you lunatic. It's like they all just came at me at once, huh? No patience whatsoever. I am your master at the end of the day. And don't you forget it. All right, we got her head and her arm, was it? I forgot. Right. Installing the head. Double two, seven, nine, nine, one, zero, zero. Oh. Hey, rise and shine. Good morning to you. Thank you, dear comrade. Please be careful. There are aggressive robots everywhere. Mm. Yeah, I noticed. What did you do to get dismembered? I tried to rescue the living personnel of the exhibition complex. Monstrous atrocities are being committed here. Robots are killing people. This is unthinkable. How did you manage to survive, dear comrade? No time to explain. We need to activate military drill mode. Military drill mode. All right, we've got to go. Let me see. I don't want to do the bottom one yet. I want to work my way down. So we've got another one. Hmm. The next one's here on this floor, correct? Yes. to the next new scanning cycle module limb arm left found 
Location, Pavlov floor. Uh, could you be a little more specific? No! This terrible! It plunged into something warm and sticky. Oh my, it is red polymer. Disgusting! What does this even mean? I am sorry, dear comrade. This is the only data I have available. I hope I managed to help you. You sure did. Alright, good. Is there still poison there? Let's go this way then. Guess this is the only way. This robot won't do anything to us. So every time I try to sneak attack these bots, oh, this one's not letting me. Okay, that's good. Might mean I don't need to after all. Oh god, we're probably gonna have to go there eventually. Let's go up top. Let's just keep going up top. Wow, the f a lock. Didn't see that coming. What the hell is that, dude? Actually, you know what? I know why it's giving me this. I know exactly why it's giving me that right now. It wants me to. It wants me to store my Access health. Granted. That's what it wants me to do. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you better start transferring some of your health, pal, because it's not looking good for you. Oh, there we go. Oh, now we've got three. That's interesting. Got him. That's so creepy. What the heck? We're gonna go down there for something. Fading data. I have a feeling we're about to get naughty. Vulnerabilities. Okay, so the Plyukes are resistant to gunfire. Use melee weapons against, against them. Scan your enemies to find out their resi uh, resistances and vulnerabilities. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful! That is a specimen called Plyush, or Ivy. Plyush. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere? Wow. Oh, that's just... <laughs> I'm gonna fucking, I just fucking love it here. I just freaking love it here. Wait, what a what? Hello? Yo! Bro, it said resistance to gunfire. Let's test that theory out. Yeah, it's pretty... Oh my god, I'm gonna die here. Yeah, we're gonna die here.
doesn't even freeze. Oh, it does. Just not enough. circles around it. I guess that's what... Okay. Or that could happen. Bitch almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. Oh my god. What the heck was that thing, dude? That is not cool. Oh, it had the hand. Oh my gosh. It had the left arm. Damn it, Claire. I hate you. Infiltrated the VDNH yet, Major. The government commission is almost here. I'm inside, looking for a way to activate military drill mode. Things have been complicated by a shitload of weird shit. Any more questions? Well, look faster. Don't let Dr. Sechenov down again. Speaking of weird shit. I'm not even gonna try and, 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 attempt, and attempt that. Because we're not we're not prepared. I don't have my Yeah, I'm just gonna follow along here. Let me follow along. I don't have health. I need to go. God, I'm sorry. I need to start moving this over. This is getting pretty ugly. Why isn't anybody working? Yeah. Why aren't you guys working? Why aren't you guys working? Yeah. Why aren't you guys working? God. You stupid robot! Oh, you want some of this? Here, I'll give you some of this. Actually, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to bring out the, uh... Oh, can you please bring out the melee? No need to waste bullets on this. Ooh, ooh. Take this! Ugh, ugh. Ugh, ugh. That's right. Let's go! I don't know why there's music playing, but if you could stop, that'd be nice. Yeah, I feel like the trick for the majority of the time, the trick is running in circles. Like, kind of circling them as you hit them. It's one of the best ways of attack for these aggressive enemies. Except for this one right now, it's really not doing much. The shield does not break, there we go. There we go. Hiya! And it's over. All right, it's over, right? Yeah, yeah, it's over. Okay, we've got a couple of chests here. Probably didn't need to do all this. Let me check this room out. We've got this room. 
go ahead and unlock this here. Perfect. Charles, why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. Dr. Sechenov wasn't convinced that there was any need for discretionary authority within Collective. So the boss wanted total equality, but Molotov's schemes changed his mind? Perhaps so, Comrade Major. What do you mean, perhaps? Dr. Sechenov wanted equality for everyone. There can be no question of that. But consider this. The Alpha Connector existed from the very beginning. Maybe the boss wasn't planning to use the Alpha Connector's power. He just needed it to launch Collective. That's possible, right? Anything is possible. Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. You're making me better, comrade. She needs a right arm and a left leg. Jeez. All right, let's see. Almost there, guys. Almost there. I think the next one's over here. Right in here. New scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, right, found. Location, Vavilov floor. Transmission obstructed. Data incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large, elongated object. A large, elongated object? That sounds odd. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah, bro, this seems terrible. Wow. There's a big honking thing in here. And lots of little fuckers. Oh, bro, come on. I cannot afford to take damage off these little ones. Because I don't know. Absolutely not. Because I don't know if that big one's going to come to life. And based on my luck and what's been going on, it probably is. Got to get rid of these drones. These stupid little fixer uppers. That thing is massive, bro. Freeze you guys real quick. Oh, so helpful, man. That freeze is amazing. supposed to do with this all right is that it are we good i should probably save dude i'm telling you right now i should probably save all right we're locked here shit man i'm so scared What the hell is this? What is this, a kid's game? That is a puzzle key. Nice. What's it for? I believe it activates some sort of process.
Perfect. Oh, Holy whoop. fuck, Charles! Is that the process I just activated? Run! Where? Hey, hey! What, what the hell are you doing, damn it? Please don't hurt me. Please. Please. No. Oh! 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 <laughs> then we're gonna have to fight that thing. Oh my god, thank you! You metal son of a bitch. You scared the ever living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. <laughs> this looks like the right one. Let's go find the rest. Uh, can we please open this up now? Uh, why am I stuck here with these stupid things? Bro, leave me alone! Okay. Yeah, I wanna fuck around with the wrong motherfucker. Oh, hold on. I didn't mean to do that. Take that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna melee your ass. Just after I destroy these two. Now I'm coming for you. And I'm coming for you. Little bastard with little rockets. You think you're funny? Oh, there's more. <laughs> oh, God, there's more. Bro, stop. Should I just leave? I mean, we could just leave. Things are so annoying. This is not going to open until I take these things out. Thank you. Come on, open up, dude. I guess I can't open that door. Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite insisted on having power even within collective. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. And you we are. The collective was designed to be for everyone on Earth, and the USSR is not the only country. We can't let capitalists and imperialists into collective. Why not? Collective was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings. The robots will do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists won't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, no one in power will see equality as an appealing prospect. So we'll be being crushed by the Kremlin, Dr. Sechenov programmed discretionary authority into Collective. See. Yeah, we're fucked. We are so screwed. I hate this. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got so scared. 
Yeah, okay. First arm's good. Thank you, comrade. The last one. Let's see what this is all about. Should we... We have no ammo. We should probably go and... Fudge. New scanning cycle. Module, limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit. <laughs> these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. Okay, mustache perverts. <laughs> That's pretty clever, I gotta give it to you. Go in here and grab this. It's time to start using some elemental power. Shall we? I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna put on this. I don't think I have it actually. But I do have it on this melee weapon. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this as well. Go to the AK. There we go. Let's get it, baby. This place used to be really nice. Until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. Major, the witch and the warehouse. Everything here seems to be peaceful. At least so far. Oh, that's not good. What the hell is that? <laughs> I'm gonna disable this. Oh, that's just... Could that just be a uh, mock-up? Maybe. Ooh. Let's open up this little door here. Perfect. Where we need to be. Don't know if I should get rid of those guys in that other room first, just in case. I don't know about this. Hey, this is new. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? What the heck is that? Wow, that's trippy, man. Hey, Charlie. Why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. Uh-oh, you saw me. Come on, punk. Want some of this? Huh? You want a piece of me, little punk? Whoa. This freezing thing is amazing, dude. <laughs> I probably should... Hit him with that. Hell yeah. Let's go under here. 
feel like we should be going under here anyways. This is so wild. What the f- Um, okay. So we gotta- we gotta actually trigger something in order for that to kind of flip. Maybe this one right here. So, what was wrong with the real beta connectors? Since Collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority, everyone in it was supposed to be equal. Yeah, we already talked about that. Then why'd they need the beta connectors? To secure Collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it. That's impossible. Everybody's equal in Collective. Shit. The Alpha Connector. Indeed. Intruders or an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the Alpha Connector. This could lead to human casualties, which would be unacceptable. So how could Beta Connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information network. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You're seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no one else in Collective could control them. Indeed, they are. At first, Dr. Sechenov planned to order his loyal twins to guard the Alpha Connector. While logged into Collective, he could control them from anywhere on Earth. At the same time, no one else would be able to give them orders. They wouldn't even know that they exist. Hold on, Charles. <laughs> I don't quite get it. Would it be possible to launch Collective with everybody equal, then destroy the Alpha Connector? Certainly, but that begs another question. Who would choose to do that? Dr. Sechenov. Are you sure about that, Comrade Major? Yeah. I mean, I guess. Okay, what is going on here? Here we go. That might just be it. So now we'll turn this one. Too bad. What's up, dude? Not a chance. You're yesterday's paper. Predictable. All right, let's go over here. What is this, man? This is freaky as hell. Now you guys don't fucked up. Ooh. Oh god. My goodness. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> the AK is probably the best weapon for that. There we go. And when you start getting more than one of these bots with that baton and the shield, it's just, it gets really overwhelming. And what the hell is this? Ow. That was really stupid. <laughs> that was very stupid. I'm going to 
I climb these battery packs? Or units? I'm gonna use it as a stepping stool. I think this is it. Matter of fact. Yep, we're inside. This is exactly where... Whoa! Oh, that's trippy. <laughs> that is trippy. Okay, I don't want to fall down again. Got the pipe now. And then we can move on top. And then maybe we can get up there. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, nice. You have reached the facility service rooms, Major. One of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there. Yeah, the truth is out there. I've never seen bots like these before. Uh-oh. This robot is very dangerous in melee combat. <laughs> oh, so that's why I'm getting my ass kicked. Okay. No big deal. <gasps> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> this thing is crazy. Ah! My god. I feel like I added the elemental cartridges at the right time. Boy, oh boy. Ooh, there's the leg. <laughs> this is so funny, dude. Charles, finally, I got all her parts. It's about time. Again, this is one of those quests or... I guess tasks within a quest that are just so long. Almost two hours just finding this freaking robot's body parts. Like, what the uh, hell? Open up already. We're running out of time here. Here's your leg. Do yourself a pair thing. <laughs> cool tech. I agree. It is a very useful function. <laughs> All her body parts assembled. What now? Self-repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. First launch code sequence generated. Please confirm that launch code sequence is matched. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequences match. Initiating VDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. Please, Comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichayev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3, has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov, you're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilievich Petrov. Your engineer, an outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the Procurator General's decree. The upcoming launch of the Collective Neural Network will be cancelled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you 
in private. <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikael, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door. What just happened? Have we been transferred to a different memory, perhaps? <laughs>